Welcome to another Demarcation Media Dust It Off video. Today's episode is going to be about muzzle flares. I'm going to be doing these shorter Dust It Off videos for a little bit just to kind of walk you guys through all the different edits I do frequently to my uh, photos. So the first one was the visor glows. I do a visor glow on pretty much every single photo that I do unless it's a figure who doesn't have a visor obviously. Um, and then today we are going to be talking about muzzle flares. Muzzle flares are pretty crucial if you want any like action scenes of guns firing, you know, that sort of thing. So in front of us, we have this picture. Pretty nice picture if I do say so myself. Uh, but there's something missing. Well, the visor glow is missing because I haven't put it on yet. We'll do that in a little bit. But there's... A sniper rifle that is the arrow of time uh, my Spartan is using it but it looks like I'm just looking through the scope but I want it to be actually shooting so we are going to go ahead and add a muzzle flare but first I need to get a few little uh, cobwebs off of my figure I put them on my windowsill and the spider decided to make his home there so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get our muzzle flare picture and that is going to be a sparkler actually. So if you want to do this yourself, the first thing you're going to need is some pictures of sparklers. Go ahead and grab a sparkler. Let's see which one. Uh, I think the, f the first one, yeah. So we'll put this in and position it and it's a little bit too uh, hazy on the edges. So we're gonna change the contrast and the shadows to make the background go completely black. This will help with our blending. So we're gonna go and we are gonna try some different blending modes. Uh, let's see, color dodge looked all right. Linear dodge looks the best though. So we'll go with that one, we'll go with that one. And now it's square on the edges and it's obviously not positioned anywhere close to correctly. So let's flip it around to the right position. And then I'm gonna have to make the edges less square because if you leave the edges square like that, it just doesn't look good. It looks like a picture slapped on. So a eraser with the opacity toned down is perfect for getting rid of the hard edges. The next thing we're going to need is some blur because obviously the uh, end of the rifle is in the foreground, which means the muzzle flare would also be in the foreground. So we need to blur it a fair bit and then right away it starts looking more like actually a gunshot and less like a sparkler. So pretty much always you're gonna wanna blur it a little bit even if the gun is in focus, but in this case we wanted a lot of blur. Next, we're going to create a new layer and then we'll get kind of a dark orange because we need some more like ambient light. So let's go ahead and slap on a big slab of orange and then we're gonna change the blending mode. Uh, let's see. Um, there's no one blending mode that works. It really depends on the photo. So this one, this one works, lighten works. Then we have to blur it because right now it looks like a little orange bouncy ball on the end. All right, that looks good. We're gonna turn the opacity down a little bit to make sure that it's not an overpowering glow. That looks good. Shrink it a little bit, move it back so that there's more light kind of washing onto the back of the flaring out bit on the gun. Now we're gonna add a little bit of motion blur to the sparkler part of the uh, muzzle flare, just to make sure that the impression that it's actually like there's something exploding out of the end of the gun, just having it stationary doesn't exactly bring that across. So adding a tiny little bit of motion blur helps with that. So I want to add a little bit more light on the barrel of the gun like further back so i'm gonna try putting it all the way back and then even all the way to like the scope 
I'm not sure if it's going to look good, but we're going to give it a try anyway. Then we're going to blur it. Whoops, that is not what we want. Go ahead and close this. We do not need this open at all. Uh, what we need is Gaussian blur, yeah. Hmm, no, that's... Yeah, that the light would not go that far back. So we're going to get rid of that. And we are actually going to do it more on the barrel itself. So we want a slightly lighter color. And then we're going to need a new layer. We'll just draw on there. Blend it. And then blur it a whole bunch. Like that. Not bad. It looks like there's kind of light washing back over. Kind of helps put the power of the gun into perspective. Not bad. That looks pretty darn good. So that is the muzzle flare done. That was it. That That's one of the easiest things that we can possibly do to a photo. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add the visor real quick. For those of you who did not see the visor glow video, if you want more details about this go watch that but basically it's the same process as i showed in that video layer of gray and then we'll do a layer of orange and then blur it a bunch and then we'll get a really nice visor glow So that visor glow turned out fantastic. I absolutely love how this looks. So real quick, we are going to duplicate everything, merge them, and we're gonna do a little color grading. I'll do a whole video talking about color grading, but for now, we're just gonna go through and do a little, little bit of tweaking, uh, put on a few filters to kind of round off this photo. So let's see. It's always fun going through the filters to see which one looks good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So there you have it. That is how you add a muzzle flare to a photo. Like I said, it's super easy. Literally all you need is some editing software and a picture or two of sparklers i would suggest getting at least two that way you can kind of uh shake it up which one you use in photos and obviously you can also kind of mush the image around to make sure it doesn't look like the same muzzle flare every time but still having a couple helps so this was the photo before and this is the photo after i'd say it's a big improvement and uh, I use this, like I said, for almost every single of my photos. Every time there's a gun and it's an action shot, I'm going to be adding this. You can see here, even my very first Mega Constructs photo used a muzzle flare. So I'd say this is definitely a effect worth learning. And you don't have to rely on a like special app to add them in because I know that there are a couple out there I can't name them off the top of my head because I don't use them myself but there are a couple that just have like almost sticker type muzzle flares that you can put in there and usually they're not blurred the way they should be or whatever so doing it this way gives you a lot more control over how your your gun shooting is going to look in the end and it's just kind of fun like it's not it's not a hard tedious process it's just fun to put in the little muzzle flare 
If you have any questions about this process, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I will be sure to respond. And if you do this yourself, go ahead and post your end result in one of the discords and ping me or uh, post it on the subreddit and I'll definitely see it because I would love to see how you use this technique. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.